And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Good afternoon. It is a beautiful day outside. Looking at the sky cam right now, looking at some sunshine, some clouds in the area, reflecting a beautiful warm day. And right now, temperatures are pretty mild outside. Look at this. Temperatures are around 72 degrees here in Lafayette. Winds coming out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour. And a bit humid too with the dew point up at 62, meaning that's a bit humid outside. Even though it's warm, it will feel a bit humid as you do head outdoors. And temperatures are generally in the 70s all across the board. Look at this, 70 degrees, 70 here in Morocco, 71 degrees here in Kentland, 72 for us here in Lafayette. Good after afternoon to you folks. And a nice warm 76 degrees here in Frankfurt, which is actually a warm spot on the map. And it's only expected to continue mainly due to these certainly winds that are moving in right now, which are bringing in those warmer temperatures. And, and as you head through this afternoon, we'll see more of those warmer temperatures. But notice this cold front out to our west. This is what's going to bring us our rain come later this evening and into the night, which will bring in also, which will also bring in some wet weather, which can impact that football festivities for you for high school football games. Growing through your day today, looking at a high of 77 with temperatures dropping throughout the evening as the cold front will slide through, bringing in those chances for showers and a few thunderstorms, especially late this evening, with that wind shifting all as well as that front does slide through. And again, as you check out the Friday night frenzy for you, again, looking at showers and storms impacting that game. So if you're heading out to that game, make sure you do have a way of getting notifications about radar, about upcoming changes of the weather, as will be quite a wet night for your Friday evening. And tomorrow, looking at a gorgeous day, although be much cooler and also drier too, looking at temperatures only reaching the mid 50s for your highs tomorrow, with clouds also on the increase throughout the day, as we'll start, we'll start the day with some sunshine, but by the time the late day, those shower chances will be back once again, as our next front does approach Saturday night and into Sunday. And going to your future forecast, again, looking at a gorgeous day today, lots of sunshine. Get out and enjoy that sunshine because it'll be a beautiful day. And this will possibly be the last warm day of the year before you see those before next spring, as temperatures may not be this warm again for quite a while. And then looking overnight into Friday night, and then notice the clock, 1130, seeing those showers, showers and storms move in as that cold front does slide through. And then see those chances of storms continue overnight and into Saturday morning before you do dry out by early Saturday morning. And you do dry out throughout the day Saturday, looking at some sunshine before look at this. Once again, that rain will come back again Saturday night and into Sunday morning. With rain becoming likely and notice the clock, 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, that band of heavy rainfall moving through our area. There could be some more muscle thunder moving that band of rainfall, but just looking at mainly heavy rainfall for our area. And then by Sunday morning, we do dry out a bit before once again, Sunday evening, we do it again. More rain comes in as the cold front will slide through. And further down the road, you'll see that rain actually begin to move out here by Monday into Tuesday. We'll see some drier air come in, but notice the backside of the system will come in on Tuesday night. It's just actually Halloween night, which will bring in some rain and some snow through our area. And that will continue through Wednesday morning and then we'll dry out for the rest of the week. And looking down the road, we're looking at anywhere from about three fourths of an inch of rainfall to as much as maybe an inch and a half for some areas. Although this model is overdoing it, it's entirely possible that we could see some areas where they can see over an inch and a half of rainfall. And looking down the road, again, looking at then those rain chances continuing through Sunday, rain likely Sunday, shower chances possible on Monday, and then we'll see some snow showers possible Tuesday as, a cold, as in that system will move through, bring in some much unseasonably cold weather. Also, we'll look at that lows in the morning, only in the 20s for Wednesday and Thursday. And you've seen those temperatures warm up by the end of next week.